San Francisco. It calls to me San Francisco. I gotta be back in Frisco, beside the sea, up and down Chinatown, New York's pace, Chicago's grace, great towns, but they can't replace the razzmatazz, Alcatraz, and all that jazz. Telegraph Hill, it fits the bill. Thrill, they thrill me still. Golden Gate Bridge, the bog rolling in. So if you find the need to explore all your dreams, look to San Francisco, my favorite town. Look to San Francisco, my favorite town. Welcome to Green. Chefs of San Francisco, a culinary guided tour with chefs from some of the finest restaurants in the Bay Area. This time from Berkeley, Santa Fe Bar and Grill and chef co-owner Jeremiah Tower. He is one of the city's most interviewed cooking personalities and has among others become synonymous with trendy California cuisine. Born in America, Chef Tower grew up in Europe and Australia, tagging along with his father, a businessman, whose travels exposed Jeremiah to great food. He moved back to the U.S. and studied architecture at Harvard. Then, on the way to Hawaii, he made a fateful stopover in San Francisco. It introduced him to Alice Waters and her famed restaurant, Chez Panisse in Berkeley. Thus began a chefing career that has been sensational, if not orthodox. I was down to my last, about $15. And someone said, a friend of mine, because they'd taken me to lunch at Chez Panisse, which was almost a year old at that time, sort of neighborhood cafe. And they said they were looking for a chef. So I hopped on the next bus, called Chez Panisse. I didn't know anybody there. And arrived there at 6 o'clock one evening. Walked into the kitchen and said, Hi, I'm Jeremiah Tower, and I'm here for an interview. And they said, get the hell out. By that time, Alice had come down from uh, upstairs. And she said, well, hello, how are you? And I was telling you, fix the soup. Uh, so I tasted the soup, and it was the biggest pot of soup I've ever seen in my life. Tasted it, and it needed salt. I put some salt in. I, it was a little thin, so I put in some cream and stirred it all around, put a little pepper in. Maybe in those days I used to put white wine in the soup, so I put in some white wine probably. And they tasted the soup and thought it was a miracle, and I got the job as a chef. Santa Fe Bar and Grill has become a hit in the Bay Area, as have two other operations that Chef Tower has run since leaving Chez Panisse. The menu for this program not only reflects Jeremiah Tower's cooking instincts, but capsulates the whole California movement. Chef Tower begins with the signature, Santa Fe black bean cake. The cakes are made from a processed mixture of black beans, serrano chilies, Hungarian green chilies, cumin, ground red peppers, ancho peppers, and ham or bacon. It's actually uh, black beans that are soaked overnight and cooked with scraps of ham. And I knew we were going to have hams and things here, and you always try and find some way of cooking the bones and scraps and the bits that don't work on the slicer, all that kind of thing, to save money, to make money. So they're cooked with uh, ancho chili pods and the beans and the ham scraps and bay leaf and carrots and onions and that kind of thing. You, uh, when they're tender, take them out and uh, drain them very well. The secret to the black bean cake is draining them very, very well. When I'm rolling that bean cake into a ball in my hands, there's nothing that's sticking to my hands. And when you press it out in the paper, if it's wet, you'll never get it out of the paper and never get it in the pan. So it has to be very, very dry. Fortunately, when that dry mixture hits the heat and the olive oil or duck fat or whatever you want to use, peanut oil, um, it becomes very moist again. Not too much. Pan nice and hot. Peel the paper off very carefully. Making sure that the black bean cake slides around. So you just cook that until it's uh, crisp brown on each side, which is literally a minute or two on each side, flip it over. And because it's so highly spiced, and of course you can control that to whatever degree of heat or spice you want because it has cumin and ancho chili powder and the uh, chopped up seeded serranos, which are very, very hot. Watch out for your fingers and don't rub your eyes. 
then the sour cream on top really calms it down. And then for a visual peel and more taste, you have the fresh salsa. And of course, the, to lighten it up visually and add more to the taste is the cilantro sprigs around it. And the cilantro is already in the salsa. So the whole thing really comes together. Incidentally, it's a measure of the degree of food sophistication in San Francisco that cilantro, Chinese parsley usually sold in specialty stores elsewhere, is available in supermarkets here. San Francisco, it calls to me San Francisco. I gotta be back in Frisco, beside the sea up and down. Chinatown, New York's pace, Chicago's grace. Alcatraz and all that jazz. 